Okay, good afternoon, girls. Um, today we want to move on to a new topic, and the new topic is called published accounts. And just to give you a quick overview, published accounts are, they come up as either a 60 mark or a 100 mark question. Um, the What they require you to do for these published accounts questions is for a 60 mark, it's usually, if we look down here, preparing a profit and loss account, which is no problem to you. Um, and then uh, preparing these notes to the accounts we see afterwards. If you see there, it says prepare the published profit and loss account for the year ended 31st of the 12th, 2005, in accordance with the company's acts and appropriate reporting standards, showing the following notes. Now, these notes are what you would usually see in the real world when... Um, when accountants prepare accounts for a company, they have, we'll say, their profit and loss account and their balance sheet and their cash flow statements. But then they have all these uh, notes after the accounts to explain different things in the accounts. So things like, um, this is how we did the depreciation. This is the depreciation policy we we settled on. You know, we decided to use straight line depreciation instead of reducing balance. Or this is how we value our stock in this company. Um, so they're, they're little notes explaining the accounts, really. And uh, because this a uh, uh question is called published accounts um it's probably the closest thing i suppose um uh, to the real world that we do uh in uh, in the leaving search really um and so then for the 60 mark questions just profit and loss and the notes and then part b is some theory for 100 mark it will be profit and loss and balance sheet and the notes and then a little bit of theory OK, uh, so what you're given is you're given a um, trial balance with certain information up there. We see it uh, debit and credit side in the trial balance. And then you're given some additional information underneath. OK, and then you create your trading profit and loss count from that. Now, I've just created a little template here first of the way in which we lay out the profit and loss account for uh, published accounts. And it's a little bit different. Oh, let me stop there for one second and just say this is the 2006 question that I'm basing this on. Um, so the profit and loss account is it's the same as any profit and loss account you've ever done, except maybe uh, the titles look a little bit different. So if we just go down through it before we start to actually answer the question and look at the different items within it, uh, the first thing we see there.